we're going to be looking at concentration. So you need to be familiar with some key terms. So these are concentration, solute, solvent and solution. You'll have hopefully have come across these lower down the school in key stage three, but we will recap them just in case. So pause the video a minute, see if you can remember those definitions. So concentration is a measure of the mass or amount of solute dissolved in a given volume of solvent or solution. A solute is a dissolved substance in a solution. Solution is the mixture formed by a solute and a solvent. And the solvent is a liquid in which the solute dissolves to form a solution. So simple way to think of this is adding sugar to a cup of tea. The solute is the sugar cube that has been dissolved in the tea and the tea represents our solvent. And then our sugary tea would be our solution at the end. And the concentration would depend on how many of those sugar cubes we added. So we also need to be able to convert units. So you've noticed in these mole calculations that we've done previously, all our volume needs to be in decimeter cubed. So convert these into decimeter cubes, 250 centimeter cubed, 125 centimeter cubed and 1000 centimeter cubes. So hopefully you've got these answers. 0.25 decimeters, 0.125 decimeter cubed, and 1 decimeter cubed. So we were dividing by a thousand every time. So, opportunity for a little practical to do at home. You probably can't do the one with hydrochloric acid at the bottom, but you can do a version with squash or food colouring or jelly crystals or something similar at home. So Add one millilitre of squash to nine millimetres of water. If you need to scale that up so you can do it on the scale, that's fine. Remember that one millimetre is one gram on the scale, so if you want to do 10 and 90 of water, that works. But have a go making up these different solutions and then have a go at some questions. So, some questions for you to think about what happens to the concentration of the squash if you diluted it? Hopefully that was nice and straightforward. Um, two, draw a particle diagram to support your answer to question one. And then question three, I want you to imagine that you have some universal indicator and you added each to your test tubes of acid, if we were able to do that. What would happen to the pH of the hydrochloric acid? Might want to do a bit of research on that, but have a think and let me know. So concentration is related to both mass and volume. And, and foundation tier papers, you need no concentration equals mass divided by volume. If you're doing high tier paper, that's going to be concentration equals moles divided by volume. Okay, again, volume is in decimeter cubed. So we can put them into a triangle. And as I think I've mentioned before, you will not get credit in the exam for writing out these calculations as a triangle. They are not credit worthy, but they are a useful tool. So when you're using them in exam conditions, make sure you write out how you're using that triangle. For example, concentration equals mass divided by volume. These are equations you need to know, so make sure you include them in your notes. So let's go through an example together. You're asked here to calculate the concentration of a solution in which 0.0158 moles of sodium chloride is dissolved in 25 centimeter cubes of water. So we're given the moles here, so we're going to be using concentration equals moles divided by volume. So first thing to do is get your unit sorted. So we need to change the volume of water into decimeter cubed. I'm just going to divide by a thousand for that. I'm going to write out the equation I'm going to use. I'm, and if I need to, I would rearrange here. Don't need to. I'm going to enter the value so that concentration equals my number of moles, which is 0.0158, divided by the volume, which is 0.025. And that gives me an answer of 0.632 moles per decimeter cube. Now you'll see I've used three significant figures here, and that's because I was given um, some details in the question in three significant figures. So always match what the examiner's given you in terms of accuracy. So I'd like you to have a go at these ones now. So pause the video and try these. Question one, calculate the concentration of 10 grams 
of magnesium chloride in one decimeter cube of solution. So that gets me 10 grams per decimeter cubed. Number two, calculate the concentration of 1.5 grams of potassium iodide in 0.15 decimeter cube of water. That gives me 10 grams per decimeter cubed. I'm going to rearrange the equation now to calculate the mass of 0.5 decimeter cubed of a 2 grams per decimeter cubed solution of silver nitrate. That gets me an answer of 1 gram. Calculate the mass of 250 centimetre cubed of 1.5 grams per decimetre cubed solution of sodium chloride. So you need to make sure you convert your volumes here. And you should get 0.375 grams. Number five, calculate the mass of 10 centimetre cubed of a 0.4 gram per decimetre cubed solution of sodium carbonate. And you should get 0.004 grams. Finally, again we're converting those volumes. Calculate the mass of a 25 centimetre cube of a 0.105 gram per decimeter cube solution of sodium sulfate. And that should get you an answer of 0.00263 grams per decimeter cube. So this set I'd like you to have a go at and that involves using the triangle shown because we're looking at moles rather than mass this time. So let's go through these. If there are two moles of sodium chloride dissolved in water to produce a two decimeter cube solution, what is the molarity of this solution? Now molarity is just another word we use to express concentration of solution when we're talking about moles per decimeter cube. So the answer to question one will be one mole per decimeter cube. Question two, we ask what is the volume of solution that has a concentration of 2.5 moles per decimeter cube and 5 moles in it. That will be 2 decimeter cubed. And then finally, how many moles are in a solution with a concentration of 2 moles per decimeter cube and a volume of 500 centimeter cubed? Then we need to convert that volume again and we should get a value of 1 mole. So let's look at an exam question. So vinegar is used for seasoning food. It is a solution of ethanoic acid in water. In an experiment, it was found that ethanoic acid present in a 15 centimeter cube sample of vinegar was neutralized by 45 centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide solution of a concentration of 0.2 moles per cubic decimeter. The equation represents this reaction. So we have ethanoic acid plus sodium hydroxide forms are sodium ethanoate and water. So calculate the concentration of the ethanoic acid in this vinegar. And they want it first in moles per cubic decimeter or moles per liter, because one decimeter equals one mole. So the moles of sodium hydroxide equal the moles of ethanoic acid. It's a one-to-one -one ratio and we get that from the equation they've given us. So we now need to think then, right, can I work out the moles I have of sodium hydroxide so that I can work out the moles of ethanoic acid? So let's work out the moles of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to do moles equals concentration divided by volume. So I'm going to do 0.2 divided by 0.045 and that's going to equal 0.009 moles. So because we know the moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to the moles of ethanoic acid, we now know that we have 0.009 moles of ethanoic acid. So we can now use that to work out the concentration. So we're going to rearrange the equation. So concentration equals moles divided by volume. So we've got 0.009 and we're going to divide that by 15 divided by 1000. And that equals 0.6 moles per decimeter cubed. And that's our answer. Here's the official mark scheme, just so you can see where they're awarding you the marks. Now they're asking us to convert our answer from the previous question into different units of concentration. So previously we had an answer of 0.6 moles per decimeter cubed, and they now want the answer in grams per decimeter cubed. So if we know we've got 0.6 moles inside our solution, if we had one decimeter cubed, 
how many grams is that 0.6 moles is what we're trying to work out. So we want to convert moles to mass. Moles equals mass divided by MR. And then if we want to work out the mass, it equals moles times MR. So I'm going to do 0.6 times 60. So to get that 60, I've used the relative atomic masses they've given me and the formulae of ethanoic acid. And that gives me 36 grams. So the concentration is 36 grams per decimeter cube. And there is the mark scheme there.